Welcome back. It's 922. Hey, look, I want to remind you about this, right? WFB, you got the new show, The Clay Young Show, airing every Friday and Saturday on WBXH and WFB Plus, but you can also catch it today, first run, as it drops digitally. We're going to send you that alert right to your phone as, as soon as it becomes mm -hmm. hot. Well, Clay Young is in studio with us this morning to talk about what to expect in tomorrow's new episode. Good mm -hmm. morning, Clay. Good morning. How are y'all? Doing, well. Doing uh, well. We got some big conversations today. Yeah, you got yeah. the Mayor Ben Rouge on. Mayor President Broom is going to be on with us uh, in the show. The first three segments are going to be with the with the mayor will talk about her announcing that she's running for a That's third right. term. Not really that much of a surprise that she's doing that. Uh, we will talk about public safety in Baton Rouge. And yes, I am going to ask her about uh, the, the recent news with the Brave Cave. And then mm -hmm. we'll talk about the economy of Baton Rouge. There is a combination of both good news and concerning news about the way things have been going. And so we'll have a conversation. Okay. As for the Brave Cave investigation, which we're seeing yes, video now, Scotty Hunter and the WAPI team, you know, they keep following up on this. And I know everything is still pending investigation. Mm -hmm. So there is limited things right. she can say about right. it. But she is working with the Baton Rouge Police Department. Well, she is. And, and, and to your point, Liz, it, there's not much she can say. But the truth is, this broke after we had agreed that she would come on, and I can't not ask her no, about right. that. Right. And so we'll see what our answer is. I don't know what she's going to say. We'll see what her answer is. She understands the job. as, a, mm -hmm. as a, She's ultimately a public servant, of and the public wants to know. So, yeah, you ask the questions and whatever the answers are. Speaking of public services. Man. You know exactly where I'm going. Yep. The EBT program here Ooh. in Louisiana, across the country, yeah. uh, it has been decided, apparently, uh, that Louisiana will not be a part of the summer feeding program mm -hmm. for, for, for kids. Yeah. What is the rationale behind it? I mean, look, you're going to be talking yeah. more, a bit deeper about it. What's the rationale? So I've got uh, some people with the city. I've got some folks who are in education. I've got a person who's a food activist who, who mm -hmm. understands the value of nutrition with kids, especially in disinvested communities. Communities. I don't understand the rationale. Mm -hmm. It isn't because the price tag is too big. It is a fraction of the DCFS budget. It, it is something that is very needed because there are a lot of kids when they're in the summer, they don't get three meals. Right. Right. And so schools not only provide nutrition for their bodies and their minds, it, it, it's, it's a sense of we know they're going to eat. During the summer, you don't know. So we're going to talk about why the program is so valuable. And uh, there will be a few bites at this apple to understand why. Now, there is a House bill by Representative Jason Hughes out of New Orleans that is going to compel Louisiana to take the dollars. And I have it on good authority that there is bipartisan support for that. Really? Did you, uh, now, you say bipartisan, enough to get through any kind of veto, possibly, that the well, governor would throw here's around? here's the thing. Without saying what or how, there is some belief that they want to walk this back. Mm. Because y you can't make rational justification of why you wouldn't do this. Well, look. Clay, you've got, what, seven-figure digit with children who would mm -hmm. not be getting those meals That's during right. the summertime. We constantly top the list with children and senior food insecurity in the state. We've got great organizations like the Baton Rouge Food Bank and a number of organizations mm -hmm. trying to feed them. But without this critical program, that's going to be tough. Just so people understand, it's $3.5 million. Again, mm -hmm. the DCFS budget is $902 million, as you said. Think earlier. about those numbers. The, right, exactly. Right. So I just want people that's to understand when you say it's not a political thing, right. it really is about a smart move for Louisiana. You, you would and so, yeah. so those conversations are coming today, up all man, of them. And they'll, they'll be dropping on digital yeah. later today. That's some good it. stuff, yeah. which is, again, one of the reasons I'm excited to have the Clay Young Show under the, the umbrella. Yeah. Look, Kirk and the group, they keep me on my toes. They always do. They That's keep it. us on That's very it. inside the joke. People running he's, this show right he's now. telling us to wrap right now. Oh, <laughs> sweet Clay. Thank you so much thank for coming on. Good we look you. forward to it. Hey, stay with us. We'll be right back. Good stuff. You want to do that?